We're gonna go deep into the progress behind Yaime Perez and how you guys who might be in high school or college can use this information to get better. And we're gonna start right now. Yaime Perez has moved to garage strength and we're trying to work on a couple different things inside of her technique. Now, she's a two-time Diamond League champion, 2018, 2019. On top of that, I think she got fourth at the Olympics in 2016, I believe. She got fourth or fifth. She got fourth at the 2015 World Championships. She got fourth at the 2017 World Championships. And so we're gonna break down her 2019 throw, and then we're gonna go into how we're gonna try and make progress with her here at Garage Strength at Throws You, and then how you guys can take this information. And so what we're gonna look at is how she executes Okay, and then how we're gonna try and improve her execution over the next year, two years, however long this occurs. You know, hopefully she's here for the next eight years and she finishes out her career here at Garage Strength and everything flows as smoothly as we possibly can go. So let's watch this video and then we're gonna break everything down. Boom. Absolutely huge throw. Let's go back to this and just first of all, mention the fact that Yaime here, she's in second place. Okay, so she's sitting at 68.10. She's in second place to her own teammate. So right out of the back, what are we looking at? She's real tight with this right knee, falls in a little bit with that hip, right? Okay, so now she over rotates. So her, her right leg's over rotated. Left leg comes down, almost blocking her off, but. The thing that I want to point out, what makes her so good is this, this catch point with that, the discus, that high point that she has here. I think that's key. If you watch Perkovic, uh, she does that as well, really, really well. So she catches that, has a lot of tension, and then just sits into that left side as her right hip works through. This position right here with that right hip is really similar to what you see on Joe Kovacs' 23 meter throw. Uh, same thing with Krauser. So it's, it's you know paramount for a big toss. Absolutely huge throw, right? Now, is it something that I would wanna see on a regular basis from a world-class thrower? No, but it works. So my whole lens that I'm gonna try and look through is, you know, I'm thinking about, yeah, I'm mean, coming out like, oh yeah, I'm pretty happy. Uh, <laughs> so my whole lens that I wanna look at is, all right, how can we relate this to somebody else? How can I look back? When Taman Johnson moved to garage strength, Taman over-rotated very, very much like Yaime. The only difference was his left also over-rotated. Her left blocks her off more. Taman's left does not block him off as much when he over-rotates. So a lot of high school kids, you tend to over-rotate, right? You have that issue where you come out of the back of the circle, you sort of fall off that left a bit and you over-rotate. So I've got to look at this and say, all right, Yaime's a world champion. She's an Olympic bronze medalist. She's gotten fourth at the world championships, what, three or four times, two times the Diamond League champ. So how can we build off of this? And so the main thing that we have to do right off the bat, and we're gonna go into some of her more recent training throws, is that we have to think about with an elite level thrower like her. She could win the Olympics in 2024 if she's able to go compete, everything lines up the way we think it possibly can. I don't wanna change certain things in her technique because she has such good feeling right? She's thrown so far with that over-rotated right. So I don't really actually want to change much of what she's doing out of the back. I want her to think about getting around her left leg, and that's where I'll say things like uh, Ma Sancho, uh, De La Cadera Izquierda, uh, so like move more around, or, or uh, Muevete Alrededor, move around that left hip a little bit more. So I'm going to try to get her to move around that left hip, but the main goal that I want to see is that she grounds earlier with that right foot, okay? But I'm not gonna change the high point stuff. I want that high point. I wanna, I wanna keep seeing that over and over again. And I think if her right comes down faster and she holds that high point and the left leg keeps going around to where it traditionally lands, she's gonna have even greater tension which should lead to a bigger throw because she's gonna have greater action from that right hip. So now I'm gonna go into one of her more recent training videos and you're gonna be able to see what we're doing. So the way we set up our training week is we throw for distance three days. And then we have three other days that we're just doing real technically focused work. And one of those days that we throw for distance, we do go pretty hard. So this is a technically focused day. She's throwing a one five here. So some of those big things that I talked about that if you over rotate, so if you're in high school and you have that issue, if you're like Taman was in college or in high school, this is what you can use to help fix it. 
you can already see she is getting a little bit wider with that right foot here out of the back of the circle, okay? And then we want to see that grounding point. I want to see that grounding point just around the center line of the sector and the circle. Okay, so maybe a little bit earlier uh, than, than that center point of the circle. And you can see Yaime's already drastically improving where that right side's going. I want that high point to be right when her right foot comes down. Okay, so her right foot comes down right here and she's got a good high point. I want this to be balanced. She's got tremendous balance there, right? So now we can look at what's happening with that left leg. And this is where her left leg still is blocking her off slightly, very, very slightly. It's not as pronounced, but it's still there a little bit. We wanna get that left leg to come around a little bit more. So that's where I'm using this cue, la pierna izquierda al redador. So get that left leg around. Left leg has to go around. Or another one is like to the side, like la pierna izquierda uh, al lado. So get that left leg around. So the issue here with the over rotation is that we're either gonna see she falls in off that left hip and that causes the over rotation, or she's too long with the right leg, okay? So then she has to get the right foot down earlier. So if she isn't falling off the hip, her right leg has to come down mas rapido, okay? So that's like some of those main factors that the high school guys out there and, and men and women in college, if you over rotate, it's typically gonna come back to two different factors. It's gonna be a factor of Am I falling off my left or am I just long with my right? Is my right muy largo? Okay, and then you can see here with this one five, she has a great catch point, right? Boom, sits through and hammers forward. So the big thing here that we're seeing, great improvement with that right foot grounding position. Now we've just gotta let that left leg come around a little bit more. So we gotta keep moving wider out of the back, around that left hip, ground with that right and let that left leg get a little bit deeper. So. That's a lot of the stuff that we're working on with Yaime. I think everybody out there can learn from this situation because we all have over-rotated at some point in our career, okay? Everybody has over-rotated. And if we can get that right down sooner, that's gonna create more stretch. It's gonna create a faster left. If we over-rotate, we tend to be a little bit slower. We're in the air longer, so we don't develop force as rapidly and we don't have as much torque on the trunk. That's why we like to fix that over-rotation. Take this lesson. Keep watching Yaime's progress. She's an absolute monster, and hopefully I can keep learning Spanish. So, so if you guys need help with a training program, make sure you head over to throwsuniversity.com. You can pick up one of our throws-based programs today. Until next time, guys, peace.